What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Amateur Reviews video. Today we have the Beast X by WL Mouse. Now let's get straight to the point. This mouse is a must have for everybody. I think it's like under $200. It's like just under $200 and you get provided with five different mouse gates. You get a 4K dongle, like Razer and Pulsar make the 4K dongle on their mice a separate purchase, which is, I don't know why they do that. Just include it with the mouse. So you already get provided with a 4K Hertz mouse with uh, mouse feet of your choice. Now I've been reading online about the different mouse gates that come with the Beast X and they seem very inconsistent. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that the dots gates are trash but I really enjoyed using them and they say that the glass gates are like the best feeling in the world but when I use them it felt like rubber on my mouse pad but I think the PTFE skates are the only ones that have like a good impression on everybody. So I'm using the PTFE wide skates right now and they feel butter smooth. They feel more smooth than my uh, stock feet on the Razer Viper V2 Pro. Now in terms of size, it's a little bit smaller than the Viper V2 Pro, uh, but there's also a lot of unnecessary space used for the V2 Pro. And uh, I, think, I think this is perfect size. They are making a mini version if you are into smaller mice, but you know, I have pretty average size hands and I think this one's perfect. Now, the only two problems I've had with this mouse is the flex on the side. Actually, it's not even flex. It just feels like the side piece is not fully connected to the bottom piece. So when I push down, it kind of feels like it's going back into place. But uh, it's not that big of an issue. I can't feel it in game. Another small nitpicky problem I have with this mouse is the position of the side buttons. So naturally, I rest my thumb here when I play games. So when I go to use an ability in Valorant, for example, I tend to fat finger both the side buttons and then I end up using two abilities. But, um, you know, I think that's just something I, I'll get adjusted to over time. So it's not that big of a deal. The overall build quality is great. It's magnesium. So like, yeah, you're just not going to break this thing. And uh, the clicks are super tactile, but they're not heavy. They're super light and clicky, which I really like. The scroll wheel is very heavy though, compared to the V2 Pro. It's a little too heavy in my opinion. I don't, I feel like it doesn't have to be this heavy, but that's fine. Hold on, let's, let's get that out of there. And these side buttons are also very clicky. So let's get it. This mouse is just all around perfect, except for my small little nitpicky details. I also like the fact that you don't have to download the software to use this mouse. Everything can be changed on the mouse itself. So as you can see, I'm at 1600 DPI and 4,000 pulling Hertz. But if I hold down the back side button, uh, the scroll wheel button and the right click, it changes the pulling Hertz actually. And uh, I know it's probably just placebo, uh, but I always hated running background apps on my computer while playing games because I feel like it slows my computer down. So I really appreciate the fact that they have this feature. This is also my first mouse that's magnesium and that has holes in it. So sometimes I catch myself just like putting my fingers in the holes and using it as grip. But I don't do that in game. That's just like when I'm browsing the internet or something. But when I'm in game, I don't feel the holes. It also comes with grip tape on the sides and the clickers if you really do need it. Um, it is really grippy and it helps you get locked in, but they get a little dirty too fast. It's just, it's like a, it's like a dust magnet. But yeah, this is a mouse that everyone needs to have because it's, it'll just introduce you to a new experience, especially if you are still using a Viper or a super light. It's just a better final mouse in my opinion, because final mouse, they come with a whole bunch of QC issues. And I've heard a lot of instances where the new ULX just breaks within a month, but uh, I'm not seeing that with this mouse at all. But yeah, in conclusion, if you don't have this mouse already, you need to get it. It's a life changer. And uh, I've never felt better at aiming than before. Um, it's just a whole new experience for me and it was really good. Now, obviously I've been glazing this mouse, but I think it really does deserve the S tier and it's going above the Orochi and the Viper V2 Pro just because for the price, it is incredible. You get 4K Hertz and you get five extra mouse gates. So yeah, what else do you need? But anyways, that's it. See ya.